Don't get too cocky. It's time to try something a bit more tricky. You're going to go to the loan sharks. And bring us back whatever you find in his safe. So this loan shark, where does he live then? Do you want us to do everything for you? Get out! Do you think it'll be easy to break in? Our ears seize up when you come near us. We can't hear you. Right. So they won't tell us where he lives or how to even get there. This should be interesting. We're warning you. Don't you think you'd better get going? In a minute. Also, do they even know if there is anything actually in the safe? Or is this just a wild goose chase? Listen, make yourself scarce, kid, or you're going straight in the cellar. No, oh, that's fine. I want to show it off anyway. We, we warned you, kid. Do you like that smelly cellar or something? Eh, it's okay. Get in there and leave us all in peace. Welcome to the very cluttered, but also at the same time, very empty cellar. As far as I'm aware, there isn't anything to do in here. But I thought that I'd show it off nonetheless. And that's enough of that. Let's get out of here. Look at this. They haven't even locked the door. <sighs> Once again, we have no hints of what to do. Well, apart from go to the loan sharks and steal from his safe. We knew that Pollard had a key for us in the last task. Let's see if he will help us out with this one. Clear off, kid! I'm getting sick of the sight of you! You're like a fly buzzing round my head. I'll chuck you in the cellar. All right. He's not going to help us out. Have you got something to ask? Why, yes, I do. What's that you're doing? I'm making a strong potion. For Pierrefil's headaches. Have you any idea how I can get to the loan shark's house? Try the door at the far end of the courtyard. You'll end up on the docks behind the city. Finally! A hint! Right, let's get this bottle. I'm guessing this is the potion. Get me my marbles back and I might give you some potion. Thanks a lot. And take care of that bottle. It's not wine. Oh, thank you for the warning. Don't suppose you know anything else about this loan shark? Blimey! What did your last slave die of? Find out for yourself. While we're here, let's ransack the place. I believe that's cheese. I can't manage it. And 
I believe this is cake, maybe? Apparently there is a bone with some marrow in it in here, but I cannot find it for the life of me. Are you waiting for something? Now, we know that Pollard does not want us looking in his basket. So maybe there is something in there to actually find. But we can't do that while he is alert. Now this potion, I believe, is a sleeping potion. Ah, that's the cheese and that is the cake. So we can actually drug Pollard. But there is also another solution to this as well. And we will need to go back down to the docks. Well, not quite to the docks. It's on the way. But also, apparently this is a door at the end of the courtyard. I might have known. The door's bolted. Uh, so we definitely, definitely need a key. Now, you also need to note that this dog is currently alert. If we leave this area, then he goes back to sleep. He is definitely guarding something, and my guess is it's this door. My belly's rumbling like a train in a tunnel. We have a hungry drunk right down here. The watchman. I hate him and his lighthouse. And he is going to help us with the alternate solution. No entrance for security reasons. Hey, what are you doing here? Minding my own business with a little drop of plonk for company. Do you like wine a lot? Yep, sure do. But it doesn't feed a man. He gives us plenty of hints that he's hungry. Now, if we try to take some of his wine... My belly's... Hey, what you doing, you little thief? Now let's see what happens when we give him some food. Magnificent. Help yourself to some drink, kid. This is a classic wine, kid. He's got a big nose and a fat body. Just like me. Now, he won't let us take three bottles of wine. We need to provide him with three pieces of food to fill these bottles. I'm always happy when there's plenty of wine. Thanks. Drink my health, kid. Cheers, young'un. Thanks. Drink my health, kid. Cheers, young'un. There we go. We're done here. I'm 
I'm trying to keep those bumps down to a minimum, but unfortunately one and two might actually happen. I'm always happy when there's plenty of wine. You've got a whole barrel there. What more do you want? Now, we can either drug Pallard or we can give him alcohol poisoning. And this is a fictional game and I don't really condone drugging at all. But in the interest of saving time, this is the quicker solution. Thanks, kid. I only drink for medicinal reasons, of course. Your wine is very strong. Very, very strong. Maybe I should have kept that potion. It might have put Puyover in a nicer mood. Is that it? I thought she was going to lower it a bit more. Now let's go up these stairs. We could have gone up there before. There was no actual point, as it's just a dead end until now. There's no handle. I can't open it. Don't worry. I can handle this situation. There is a light switch just here. Another cluttered room, but there is something that we need in here. And that is the key to the courtyard. We don't need to switch the lights off, but I'm just being polite, I guess. Now, we don't want to wake Pallard up, and I'm guessing if we try to open this door, this dog will start making a racket. So let's pacify it. There we go. There! It's open! And here we have a new area. We can't enter the Delicatessen. We can go left, or we can go right. There's no point going left right now. So let's go right, right now. It took me a while to find this, but we continue on in this corner right here. Maybe if I try doing it this way. We have to angle this just correctly. Otherwise, we get a lot of, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know when I've got it done. Oh. I don't believe this.
And yes, this is... Maybe if I try doing it this way. Why is this not working? Let's just go back. Try again. I suppose I could try something else. Oh, yes, there we go. Right, now I can speak to this gentleman. Hey, do you know how I can get into the loan shark's house? What? Can't you see I'm busy? It's this blasted engine. Leave my tools alone. We just need to be patient now. Well... Well what? Come on. Oh, damn it! Do your thing. Maybe if I try doing it this way. There we go. Maybe if I try doing it this way. Blast! I can't quite reach that little bell. Great! Now I can get the bell. Now, can you ring it? Maybe if I try doing it this way. I can't do anything. Maybe not. Okay. Like most things in this game, it's a situational object. I don't believe this. Bye then. I like that pig sign. Oops. Clear off! You're really getting on my nerves. Hey, stop that! I can't stand that noise! He seems to have sensitive ears, so let's make the most of it. Ah! Oh, this racket's driving me mad! You little pest! No! My ears! Ah! Um, have we just killed someone? Guessing that this is the loan shark's house. And this is where the lack of hot spots or even just descriptions coming up on the screen to tell you that that something can be interacted with really makes this game a lot less fun. Because what we need to do now is we need to put this little safe on these scales. These very unremarkable scales in the background. And that in turn opens this safe. There we go. Task 2 is now done. Let's head home. Look, she's coming. Hold it, kid. What have you been up to then? Hey! Stop, stop squirming or I'll get angry! <laughs> <laughs>